Let's get ready. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> God, why am I so weird? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So happy you're here to watch another video of mine. So thank you guys so much, especially to my subscribers out there who always come back to watch my content. You guys are awesome. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and join our growing pack here on YouTube. But yeah, we are going to talk all about the two slightly different releases of the Nako Takauchi Collection Volume 1 Sailor Moon manga that just came out at the end of April 2022 here in the United States. So I already did a video all about the Nako Takeuchi Collection, which I call NTCs, in this video right here. So if you want more in-depth information about this release, definitely watch that video too when you get the chance because this video is only going to be talking about the differences between the two editions that is currently out. We have the standard edition right here. This is sold at retailers that sell manga in the United States. So this one is going to be much more common. And then there's also a Barnes & Noble exclusive. And of course that means it is only sold at Barnes & Noble in store and online. And I'm going to be telling you guys the differences between the two today. First up guys is the standard release. This is the one you're going to see at all other retailers besides Barnes & Noble. Target is actually stocking these in their stores right now. I have footage of two different Targets that I spied them at. One of them placed it at eye level, so I was like, ooh, there it is, I see it. And then the other one I went to had it all the way down here. You really can get a good idea just how manga and anime are becoming much more mainstream than it used to be. I never thought I'd see this many different manga titles at a Target. It's wild. It's wild out there. I'm seeing so much more manga and anime in retail stores than ever before. What a time to be a manga and anime fan. It's becoming much more easier to find these products instead of having to order online, waiting a week or two. You can go downtown to your friendly neighborhood Target and voila, you can get the Sailor Moon manga. And of course, the other edition is the Barnes & Noble exclusive. You're going to notice it's going to have the sticker right here. Now, I did find these in store at my local Barnes & Noble and... I did not see the standard edition being stocked. I do know they carry it. Like I know that they carry both of these because they do have listings for the standard edition and the exclusive edition on barnesandnoble.com. So I'm aware they stock both. However, my local store only had the exclusive. The first one of these sold out really quickly too. Um, the first time that I went to Barnes and Noble, they had them on the little table. They have a little table of like new manga. It says like new titles just released and they had a big fat stack and I grabbed one from there. But when I went back to go get some footage, they had moved them with the rest of the Sailor Moon manga. You can see some of the Eternal Editions and some of the lingering 2011s still hanging on for dear life. So you guys will have to let me know if your Barnes & Noble also stocks the Standard Edition because I'm curious. I'm curious if mine is just stocking this one or if they're all just stocking this one. Maybe you'll start to see these too. Maybe they just got like late shipments on the standard edition and these came in first i don't know let me know down there in the comments of course what your guy oh my god i can't talk today just let me know what you guys see at your local barnes and noble if you are going to make it in so here they both are side by side you will notice that the barnes and noble one of course has that sticker and it is a sticker it is not printed onto the cover it is just a sticker it should be removable i have not tried to remove mine in fact as a collector i like to keep any exclusivity oh my gosh i'm really like freaking out that I just said that word right. Yeah, as a collector, I try to keep anything that's exclusive intact on the product. So for this edition, I will be keeping the sticker on just so we know it's a special edition. And the reason this is an exclusive is it does come with a gatefold poster. So it's all the way at the end of the book and you pull it out and it has this wonderful manga image of Usagi transforming into Sailor Moon with Luna. If you do plan to remove the poster from the book, it is perforated for easy removal. And that, my friends, are the only differences between the two. This Barnes & Noble exclusive has a gatefold poster. This one does not. There is nothing at the back of this book at all. 
they also run the exact same price as the standard edition so you can get a little bit more bang for your buck if you get the barnes and noble exclusive as it comes with that poster so in my collector opinion this would be the one to go with if you have the option because it has that bonus poster in the back so I think later down the line, um, collectors are going to prefer the Barnes & Noble exclusive over the standard just because of that additional poster that this one has. It's kind of cool that we got an exclusive version of the manga in North America. Normally we don't see anything exclusive like that anymore. I think the last time we had a manga exclusive was when Kodansha came out with the box set version of the 2011 editions, which I just heard from another collector friend, because I did not collect those, by the way, let me make that clear, that the box set version of those 2011s are slightly different sized. So for instance, if you bought them singly, they would not fit into that box that they go in. That's what I've heard. I cannot confirm if that is true or not, but it did come from a trusted Sailor Moon collector in the community, so I'm pretty sure it is true. Shout out to Moon Figures if you're watching this video. They are the ones who provided that information about the boxed set version of the 2011s. So that's the last time that I can recall that we had an exclusive version of the manga that was only sold for a limited time, and then there was also a standard release. So that box set was special. I kind of regret as a collector not getting that box set. I only got the single edition. So from here on out, if Barnes & Noble continues to do exclusives or even maybe another retailer might pick up an exclusive, maybe Right Stuff is working on a deal with Kodansha to get an exclusive version of the rest of the NTCs that should be coming out soon. I will try to get the exclusive version from here on out of any of the NTCs. Also, while we're on the topic, guys, let me know down there in the comments which version you guys are going to be grabbing for your manga collection if you plan on collecting the NTCs. Do you think the poster in the Barnes & Noble exclusive is worth it to collect this one or do you just not care about the poster and the standard one is okay for you? Let us know down there in the comments what your thoughts are on that. But guys, Guys, that's not it. I didn't just want to do a comparison. I also want to give one out because I done messed up, guys. I messed up and you guys are going to benefit from my mistake. What I ended up doing, I had this Barnes & Noble one on pre-order like a month or so ago. So I was like, okay, okay, they're going to get it. They're going to ship it. I'm going to get it. Well, hell. Turns out they ended up shipping a lot later than expected because I popped in my Barnes & Noble at the end of April 2022 and they already had them in store and mine hadn't even shipped yet so I was like well crap I really want to do this video I want to squeeze this content in so I want to go ahead and buy it now and I know I have one on pre-order but maybe I can give it out or something and that's what I'm gonna do so I did get the shipped copy in the mail so one lucky winner is going to win the Barnes & Noble exclusive English Sailor Moon manga of the Naoko Takauchi Collection Volume 1. Wow, that was a mouthful. Here are the details on how to enter to win this for yourself. The rules are really simple, my friends. All you gotta do is make sure you are subscribed to the channel. That is a requirement and I will be checking. Go ahead and like this video. And then number three, I want you to comment down below I am entering the giveaway and I want you to say that specific sentence because a lot of people do want to comment or say a thought but they don't want to participate in the giveaway so to make it clear for me when I'm going down there pulling all y'alls all y'alls all y'alls usernames I will only pull the ones that say I am entering the giveaway so make sure you say that exact sentence and then that's it guys that's all you have to do make sure you're subscribed like the video and then comment down below that you are entering the giveaway. The giveaway ends on May 26th, midnight central time. So remember that all entries must be in by that date because I'm going to be drawing the winner the following day on the 27th, which is Friday, sometime during that day whenever I get around to pulling all the usernames and, and whatnot. And I will be announcing the winner in the description of this video sometime that day hopefully if not the very next day but very soon after the giveaway ends i will have an update and also if you follow me on instagram or twitter 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 <laughs> i will also announce the winners on my instagram and twitter see i can say twitter normally also this giveaway is worldwide guys i will ship this anywhere that i can currently ship to i do know there are some shipping restrictions still going on in the world so as long as i'm able to ship 
to you from the United States, then there you go. I ship worldwide. So please understand if you do win and I am unable to ship, it is not my fault. I am sorry. I can hold your prize, but I don't know how long it will be until, you know, the shipping services resume. But that's it for the video, guys. Thanks so much for always coming back and supporting my content. That's a big reason why I decided not to return the extra copy of my Barnes & Noble exclusive. I did contemplate that, but I was like, you know what? Everybody supports my content. They come back and watch my videos. So I really want to continuously give back to the community as much as possible. So this goes out to you guys. So I hope it does go to somebody who really wanted to start collecting the NTCs. Thanks again, guys, for always coming back. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below <laughs> if you want. I will see you guys very soon in the next videos that are coming at the end of this month, and some are pretty exciting. I can't wait to share with you. Bye! Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. <clears throat> Gonna have five people unsubscribe because she says Twitter wrong. Had a hair in my mouth hair in my mouth. I just washed my hair and I haven't done anything to it. I slept on it wet, so it is a freaking mess. You guys know I'm going to be shipping your Barnes & Noble exclusive in this little baggie. Oh yeah, I'm going to include that. You guys are so lucky you get this paper bag. Oh my gosh, Ochi gives out some good shit. Wow, I am definitely going to enter to get this bag. I haven't had any sugar today. I haven't. And you know what kind of got me all weird and wiry like this is I went out into the world today. I did. Uh, I had an orthodontist appointment for those of you guys who have been following my Instagram stories about my teeth straightening journey and they took off one bracket. Just one of the little attachments um, on my teeth that help the trays because I'm using the um, clarity aligners currently and they took off one of the little attachments. But I thought it was done because I finished my trays. It was 26 out of 26. But when I went in to my appointment, they're like, oh no, this is just a halfway point. You still have a lot of ways to go. And I'm like, oh darn. I was hoping I'd get all of them little attachments off. But uh, yeah, there's my uh, random ramblings. I'm just all wiry because I was out in the world today and I usually don't go out into the world by myself uh, on the weekdays. <laughs> I usually save that to go out with my husband on the weekends and then I stay home Monday through Friday normally.